What's up, everybody? It's your boy Jason from ToonSquadHQ.com, and today I'm going to show you how to electronically disable your active fuel management (DOD) or NDS system in your General Motors or Chrysler products. First thing you're going to need is a HP tuners device. If you don't have one already, you can pick them up off of our shop on ToonSquadHQ.com forward slash shop. You will see our Amazon affiliate links and you will find the HP Tuners MPVI3 up there. This is the two. They are no longer selling the two. So you gotta get the three now, but it'll be the exact same process on the two as it is the three. Second thing you will need is a decent laptop. This is a MSI G65 Stealth. It's a gaming laptop. If you have a gaming laptop, it should be good enough to, to do this. You want something decent, if you're gonna use the laptop for tuning, diagnostics, for automotive stuff. So this is um, an eighth gen i7 in this. They aren't making these anymore. It's getting kind of older, but I've put some great options for laptops on the uh, affiliate page, tunesquadhq.com forward slash show. And the last but not least thing you will need, the third thing you will need is gonna be a battery charger or a jump box because you do not Want your battery to die in this process. Bad news, you can break your PCM. All right, we got our donor vehicle here today, which is a 2007 Chevy Tahoe. So when you're doing this process, once you got your laptop and your MPVI two or three, first thing I want you to do is pop your hood, grab a jump box. And you're going to hook our jump box up to the battery. All right, now that your power is hooked up, um, grab your MPVI2. You're gonna plug your data link cable into it. And then you're gonna plug your MPVI2 into the truck and then into your USB port on your computer. Now, once you have done that, you're gonna wanna open up your VCM editor suite, like so. Try to get you a little bit better of a picture. There we go. And you're gonna turn your key to the on spot. All right, key in the on spot. And then you are just going to file close. So we're in a fresh interface here. And then you are just going to click right, read vehicle. You can gather the information just to make sure that everything looks like it's going to read correctly. Now for this, we do not need to read the TCM. So we're going to hit do not read on TCM and read entire on PCM. Now hit read. So this is going to take a couple of seconds. And it's reading the file PCM the and as that winds on down to the end, we will get to 100% here. Boom, we are ready. Now we are going to save this file as the description of the truck so we can find it again very easily. This is gonna be a 2007 Tahoe. Why? You can name it, whoever's name it is, whoever's vehicle it is, et cetera, et cetera save now that's saved you can cut your key off and you can come back around under the hood and turn off your jump box now we're going to bring the laptop inside so you can get a better view you could do the rest of this without it being plugged into the truck and then you have to come back to the truck to upload it so so once you got your file downloaded, you're going to click where it says engine. Top left hand corner there. So you're going to want to find the tab under fuel that'll say lean fuel saving. You'll click that and then right over here on your left, you'll see a tab that says DOD in it. Click this, disable. And now we are ready to write this back to the truck. All right, we're gonna do the same thing again. Switch our jump box to the on position. Plug our MPV2 
back into the laptop. Cycle the key to the on spot. And then when you click right vehicle, normally you're gonna get a menu here for licensing options. And it's gonna tell you how many credits it would take to license this. So what you'd have to do at that point is go to HP Tuner's website. All right, so once you're on the site, you're gonna click products, credits. And now for an example here, this costs two credits. So you're gonna select universal credits, select, and then you're gonna put in however many credits you need, add to cart, and then they'll go through and allow you to purchase these credits, and then it's gonna marry these credits to your MPV I2. Once that's done, you will come back here and you will click help and you will click resync interface and then it's going to resync the interface then it'll pop up and tell you how many credits you have so then you go to write it'll make sure that you are writing to the correct VIN number it'll have the last couple digits of the VIN up here and it'll ask you if you're sure now once you spend these credits you cannot get your money back so it's very important that you make sure all that information is correct. If you spend these credits, you cannot get your money back, so it's very important that you make sure all that information is correct. So then what we are gonna do now is just write calibration. And it is gonna erase the old calibration. And this is where it is very important that we do not lose power to the laptop or power to the truck because that is how you brick your PCM. And now the ride is complete. It'll have you cycle the key off and in the on position and close, exit. And now you are completely done and you have disabled DOD on your GM vehicle.